Hello, in this video, I am going to explain the difference between signed and unsigned integers. So up till now, we yeah, I also highly recommend that you watch the last two videos, which were on integers and short, long and long, long integers. Up till now, we've been able to, if you have a look, so if I was to run this, we was able to, you know, use negative numbers. So what we've been using so far, and this applies to all this int, short, long, and long, long, we've been using something called a signed number. Sign number means it, it has a sign. And essentially, if we, I'll keep it simple, but it's the same principle for all of them. If we have four bytes, so potentially, you know, it will be like eight, four, two, and one. And und underneath, if we, wanted to actually that's, that's not four bytes that's one byte sorry actually I'd, I'd do it with this one here two bytes and obviously one byte is eight bits so that's gonna be 16 bits us so that's still gonna be pretty long I'm just gonna do one byte to be fair just to keep things simple so one byte is you know eight bits which would be 128. 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1. So when underneath, like the biggest number, physical number, not factoring in, you know, in like negative numbers, biggest number and 8 bit or 1 byte, you know, number data type can represent is 255, is by having all of these on. Like so. But with signed numbers, the first one doesn't actually represent a number per se. It represents if it's negative or positive. So essentially you are cut down to the number of bytes minus one in terms of how big that number can be. So that is just something to bear in mind. And really that's it. That's the same principle for all of these. And if you want a number that allows you to use the first you know position as part of the number so you can get a bigger number and you don't care about negatives you can use what's called an unsigned number and to use an unsigned number so I'll copy and paste this so if we use an unsigned int and to print it out we'll have to put u so everywhere that we have i we'll be replacing it with u and this will be a u int max and we won't, there won't be a u int min for the simple reason the min for all unsigned numbers is always zero because you can't have a negative number. And yeah, that's really it. So I'll do the same for you know, this unsigned short. And remember, everywhere that we have an i, we place it with a u. This will be a u short max. And we do the same here. Unsigned long max L U U long max, and then we'll have an unsigned long long max L L U, and this will be a U L long max. So if I save that, and if I was to give this a run. There we go. It is. That's the maximum value they can have. You might also notice is it's basically these numbers. These two numbers added together if you ignore the sign. It's not the technical way, uh, but that's the way I always like to remember it. So that's the max for a short. Remember in this on my compiler, the long is the same as an int. You can, that might some sometimes might happen. And for an unsigned, as you can see, it is very very big okay so we've got that out of the way how about creating unsigned variables essentially the same principle we just put unsigned at the start unsigned and we'll just call it like ui for example if we want to and if we want to do it for a short you we can do both methods we can have the method where we just put short or short in totally up to you. And there we go. And the same applies for a long. 
we can put a on find here. Same applied for long, 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 long. <laughs> this sounds a bit weird. Long, long. Unsigned right so right there right so like so right there <laughs> not like so right there right so like that okay and to remember to print them out everywhere that you have an I you know in the percent part you replace it with a U so if this is you know UI this is USI ULI UL1 sorry you are oh we have not renamed these. So we gotta rename them obviously because we're gonna get all sorts of errors. And which we do not want. And remember here, we just replace it with a U. U, U, and U. Save that. Give this a run. And there we go. It's as simple as that for you know using unsigned and signed so as you can see when we was when I was demonstrating the overflow problem with this and for short it would effectively go round to the negative because it was too big with a unsigned because it can go as big as 65,535 you don't have that problem so that's it signed allows you to have negative values but it also means the upper value is lowered because it's still using the same amount of memory. It's just allocating part of, you know, the bind the bits for negative and unsigned are only positive values and it ran from zero to whatever the max is. So that's it. If you have questions, there is a link in the description to the Discord group and we've got over 4,000 members, a bunch of programming channels. If you want the source code, there's a link to the GitHub page in the description, so feel free to check that out. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.